Hey boo, so we all love a curly moment where we get to finesse and glow and shine in our natural beauty, but sometimes we want to straighten it. So in this video, you're going to see me do a blowout and I hope you enjoy it. I, I definitely took a lot of time getting this together for you guys, so I hope you love every single moment of it. It's time to clip these ends and the only way she does it is when it is blown out and straight. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna give Timo another round two. I'm gonna try to do a blowout with it this time instead of using the diffuser. I'm gonna use the precision nozzle and then I'm also going to use the comb. So I have not done a blowout in this way in years, years, you guys. I've been using the Revlon Paddle Brush Blow Dryer for at least three years now. And the idea of doing it the other way, is kind of scary. So as you can see, I put my hair in about six sections I like to start out on the front. I know you're noticing like, wait, you're spraying your hair with water? Yes, my hair is dry. I like to do my blowouts dry because it gives me so much more control with how much heat I wanna use and how fast I want my hair to be dry. Never will you catch me coming fresh out of the shower, hair dripping wet, and I'm like, okay, it's time for the blow dry. It takes me a day to wash my hair, about 25 minutes in the shower to be honest, but that 25 minutes alone has me done with my hair for the rest of the day. So as you can see, I'm using the Garnier Fructi Sleek and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum. This is so old, but it's literally the only heat protectant that I have. I need to do better and get something a little bit more quality. But from my six sections, I like to break them up into two sections. So it in total is about maybe 12 sections throughout my whole head, depending on the thickness. But my front tends to be a little bit medium density, but the back, the back is where I gotta break those sections up into twos and threes and fours, you know how it is. So here I am going in with the precision nozzle. Um, I'm feeling like as if the process is very foreign because it is very foreign to me after so many years of not using a blow dryer in this way. When I tell you your girl is used to the paddle brush, it's crazy. But I'm starting out with the comb. Now there's one thing I never do is I do not give any heating tool whatever attachment they have the sole responsibility of detangling my hair. So you're gonna see me using the um, tangle teaser interchangeably with this comb because I'm really just trying to get my hair as straight as possible with the comb but not use the comb to detangle as I dry my hair. Girl, that is a disaster waiting to happen. But you see how fast my hair got dry with this? It's crazy how fast this blow dryer will dry your hair. I do think that it's a learning curve. Like I'm used to using cheaper blow dryers. No, no issue with that. There's some really good ones out there. Um, and so I'm used to my hair taking a lot more time to dry. But with how fast my hair is drying and honestly, like how straight that got. Just one go, like look at the roots. There's no wave. Typically my roots tend to wave a lot, especially if it was dry the day prior. But oh my gosh, look at the shrinkage. It's crazy what shrinkage can do. So I'm going into the next section and honestly, like just feeling out what the process is like. I think I'm getting better the second time around. But you guys, engage me in the comment section. Do you guys still do this method where you use a traditional blow dryer or you use a comb or precision attachment opposed to using the paddle brush blow dryer? And what works for you the best? Let me know. But I mean, honestly, I really do like it. It's just that how good I used to be back in the day, she is not that good at it anymore. But it seems like even though I'm coming off as a little bit of a novice, I'm definitely making some strides. I mean, look at how straight this turned out. Like, And then like, what I started doing was just putting it on a higher heat towards the very end just to like get it a little bit straighter. And that tend to really, really work for me. So your girl's definitely a little intrigued. Hey mama, so uh, I just wanted to show you guys, like I did finish this one section of my hair. Sorry if there's a little bit of an echo in here. We just moved in, there's no rug on the floor. So you hearing my voice bounce off all the walls. Um, but yeah, look at this you guys. So I do have bangs and so you see that my bangs stop right here. Then it gets like a little thinner, but I'm thinking like this whole section, let me show you. This whole section from where my finger is on and down, I think I'm gonna just cut it off. 
um, just for, just so it can look more full and so that detangling can be a lot easier. But the learning curve wasn't that bad. It's been a long time since I've blown out my hair that way. I've been using the Revlon forever. And so um, it is a learning curve to it. It dries extremely fast. I had to turn it down uh, because it was drying my hair too fast before it straightened it out. So I kind of use uh, the medium push, like the medium uh, fan speed on 140, 180 interchangeably. So once once I get it dry enough on 140, I'll use one, 180 to just like straighten it out a little bit more. But it's slaying, it is slaying the roots. You don't even see any waves. And that's very shocking for my hair because it's super thick and super wavy and kinky. So yeah, I'm gonna do my other side. Um, and I'll show you guys how it goes. As you can see, like my hair is mad jet black right now. I'm loving it. I did color treat it and I did record the video. So I'll let you guys see that. So let's get back into the video and do the other side. So yes, lots of things has been happening with my hair. However, I am amazed because y'all know with all the stuff I put my hair through, it's looking pretty good. The heat damage has been growing out really well. Yes, I still have it. You can tell in some of these shots here, but OMG, like I'm feeling like it's not looking too bad, but those ends definitely gotta go. So here I go using this precision nozzle again. Um, it's doing a pretty good job, it really is. Now let me call out the flaws that I see now and I know now. I probably should have never used the Tangle Teaser. Like it's not meant to really hold the hair tight together like a denim brush is. And I'm just feeling if I used a denim brush, I probably would have got better results. But hey, it is what it is. The results came out pretty good. Now I'm on the back section of my hair. This is where it gets treacherous and it gets difficult because just the positioning is off. It's just all weird. And then as you can see, like my curl pattern like is definitely very much strong in the pattern that it wants to be. And so like, I gotta, I gotta work a little bit more. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of water again. Um, I like to get this section a little bit more damp so that I could really get it as straight as I can, but making sure that I'm not making it too wet cause I don't wanna do too many passes of the brush or I just don't wanna take too long on my hair. But the tension method on damp hair tends to do really, really well for me. And then once I, um, finish doing the tension method and I want to really get a much straighter look I go up to 180 degrees and that tends to do really good for me but boo you see that you see that top portion I mean I feel like I may have some sporadic breakage throughout my hair that's why I'm straightening my hair to begin with it's because I really just need to go in and do a nice honest cut it's like being real about everything that's been going on Sis, I ain't gonna hold you though. Like every time I blow my hair out and I style it and I go up in church, when I tell you, they be gassing me. Oh my gosh, your hair, I love it like that. You should wear it like that so much more. And that be having me rethinking my whole life. I'm just like, the vibes I get when my hair is this length is just insane. I don't wanna let it go, but then I'm torn, which is why I'm showing you the scissors. But anywho, here we are, back to this tedious, very tedious blowout. But I'm on the last portion of my hair and I think I'm doing a little bit better. You guys, please comment below and let me know if there's a way I could have done this better and would have got through it easier. Um, it wasn't super hard as much as it was just very foreign to me because it's been such a long time. But I think I'm gonna start doing my hair like this a lot more because the Revlon was just ripping my hair. And it's, it's more so because of the way I was handling the Revlon with my hair opposed to just like really going through it and taking my time. But as you can see, like the results you saw was on 80 degrees, which is super low. So it gives me a lot of hope. Like I could like really get some great results while being extremely gentle with my hair. And that's what I did. I took a little bit longer for an attempt to really be as gentle as I can. Okay, so this is what my hair is looking like. As you can see up here, there's definitely some little breakage stuff going on. I think I need to get like an angle cut that literally starts here and then tapers down this way. But <laughs> y'all, I did the best I could with the blow dryer. That's my first time ever using um, 
that type of blow dryer instead of the paddle brush. It's been years, honestly. Um, I think I did a good job. I mean, there's movement. There's a lot of movement, but oh my gosh, you guys, can you see how thick my hair is now? Like, what's happening? What's happening? I'm so sorry for the echo. Stop apologizing for it. Okay, I'm gonna stop apologizing for it. Um, but yeah, let me show you guys the link. When it comes to Rachel hair, look, baby, when it comes to the hair, y'all, I think I could have, I actually think I could have blown it out even more. I put it on a higher speed. But this was like a super duper gentle blowout. But let me show y'all what my hair is doing right now. Um, all right, ladies, that's it. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Um, how did I do my first blowout? I think I killed it in the roots, but then the ends, I kind of was like straight to straight, whatever. <laughs> so you can see it like doing this like balloon thing, but I'm good with it. It's It's been a while since I've blown out my hair. Y'all, it's been in buns. It's been in buns and I got tension breakage to prove it. Like it's, you look right here, I did this and I just start pulling up pieces of hair, honey, that's from the buns because I literally was not doing my hair without you. But now I'm with you, so I'm doing it and you're helping me. Thank you. Um, ladies, oh my gosh. I love y'all. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly, truly miss you guys. I miss that normal where I was uploading, I was talking to y'all, I was learning about your families and your life and what's going on. So engage me in the comment section. Tell me how you feel about this, the quality of my hair right now, you guys. I think I, think I need to cut off like a good three inches everywhere and put some braids in. So by the summer, <laughs> It's giving the same length. It's giving, what did you cut? Because it's still inches. <laughs> um, all right, you guys. Love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care. Bye. I just want to see how you like my content. It'll sure make me happy if you would like it. But if you like it, please subscribe to it. Hit the bell so that you'll never miss this. Oh, you're the best part. Oh, best part.